Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have confirmed their daughter was christened Princess Lilibet Diana at a ceremony in the US on Friday the 3rd of March, led by the Archbishop of Los Angeles. A spokesperson for Harry and Meghan said, I can confirm that Princess Lilibet Diana was christened on Friday the 3rd of March by the Archbishop of Los Angeles, Reverend John Taylor. The one-year-old is understood to have been christened at the couple's home in Montecito, California, in front of around 20 to 30 people, supposedly including Meghan's mother Doria Ragland, Lilibet's godfather Tyler Perry, and a godmother who's not been named. Godfather Tyler Perry is also said to have flown in a 10-person gospel choir from Atlanta to perform songs such as Oh Happy Day and This Little Light of Mine, also performed at the Duke and Duchess's 2018 wedding. According to the magazine, those in attendance to the intimate ceremony enjoyed food and dancing during the afternoon celebrations and Lilibet was seen dancing with her brother Archie III. If this was a power play, why would there be no photos? It's surprising they didn't publish a photo of Tyler Perry. If there's no proof, it didn't happen. It's a very calculated PR stunt once again. This was her months long of scheming. There are never any pictures of Lilibet. Why? Maybe because she doesn't actually exist. Per Omid Scobie, the christening was on Friday the 3rd of March. The Daily Mail posted the pictures of Tyler Perry at the airport on Sunday the 5th of March. All we have to go by is a blacked out SUV going down some road that we're supposed to believe is on its way to Harry and Meghan's. Could have been anyone in the car. They're running with this just because they're flailing and Tyler Perry very possibly didn't go to see them or it wasn't a happy visit. Oprah Winfrey and Serena Williams were rumoured to be in the running for the position when Lilibet was born in June 2021, but nothing has been confirmed. Oprah Winfrey discussed the rumour that she'll be named godmother to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's baby daughter during an interview with Entertainment Tonight. When asked about the rumours, she said, I don't need to be a godmother, I'm a godmother by default. I'm a neighbour, I'm a friend, I'm all of that, you probably need someone younger to be a godmother. Meanwhile, according to Markle News' unnamed source, Eugene is a godmother to Lily, while Harry is a godparent to her son, August. It's also been claimed that Harry wanted Eugene as godmother to his daughter because of how similar they are, i.e. being overlooked in the family, etc. So allegedly Eugene really doesn't like the Wales children but adores the Sussex kids. She's apparently always going on about how amazing Archie and Lilibet are, and how a sweet August and lovely Archie will someday be the best friends when they finally meet in person. Her brother Archie's godparents were understood to be Harry's former nanny, Tiggy Pettifer, ex-Welsh guards officer Mark Dyer, and close pal Charlie Van Strobenzi. Apparently no royals wanted to be a godparent to Archie because of Harry and Meghan's disgusting behaviour. It's alleged that none of the godparents were Archie's christening, except two, one of whom was Tiggy. What's more is that Tiggy and the other person who showed up had no idea why they'd even been chosen as godparents. Princess Diana was paranoid that Prince Charles, while they were married, had been having an affair with Tiggy and had gotten her pregnant. To acquire the now infamous Panorama interview, Martin Bashir had an invoice fake that alleged Tiggy had had an abortion. None of it was true.